there, welcome to my channel. This is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and in this video I'm going to show you how to weave in your corner to corner ends like a pro. So the only two tools that you need are a pair of scissors and a large eye tapestry needle. This one's a little tarnished but it'll still work. So to make things easier on yourself it's better to have tails that are about two to three inches long it just makes it easier to weave in and out of the stitches. Now, if you happen to have tails that are kind of short, similar to this one, I'll show you in a minute how to deal with those. So let's get started. Use your tail to thread your needle. And if you have trouble threading needles, you can always use a, um, a needle threader in the, uh, that you can find in the sewing department of any craft store. Okay, so ideally we want to weave our tail in at least two to three times within the whole entire block. But you want to make sure that you don't stick it the whole way through so that it comes through the other side. You just want to weave in between the stitches so it is locked inside. you don't want to pull it too tight because it will crunch your whole entire block. So let's turn around and go back the other way. And our tail's long enough. Let's go back through one more time. Just kind of wiggle it through. Pull it snug but not too tight. Okay, so that's weaved in three times. So that should be plenty that it won't come back out. And then you snip it as close as you can to the stitches. And it's disappeared. Okay, let's try that one more time with this green one, just to show you, and then we'll get to the short one. Okay, there's one. Three. And snip your end. Okay, not too bad. All right, let me show you really quickly how to deal with a short piece. Now, if you were to thread this, turning it and trying to get it back through the stitch is difficult. You could angle it and kind of pull it a little bit and do it that way. But you have to hold on to your tail so it doesn't come out. Yes, that will work. But what I prefer to do is to insert your needle where you want it to go. And then thread it. Make sure it stays kind of loose. You don't want it too tight like this. Keep it a little loose and then pull through. There's one. So rather than snipping it off here where it could possibly come undone again, I want to run it through one more time. So I'll insert my hook where I want it to go. Insert my needle where I want it to go. Goodness. Three. 
thread it back through. And pull again. Make sure your block is not compressed. So that only went through twice, but it's better than one time. Snip off the edge. And there you have it. That is how you weave in your ends like a pro and hopefully they do not come undone. The last thing you want is for someone to think that your project is falling apart. So thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.